Okay, this great big moth just came in my house when I opened the door. I guess it saw the light was attracted to that. It's pitch black outside, but obviously the house light attracted it. And I think this is a yellow underwing moth, as you can see, it's got a yellow under its wing. It's a very well named moth. I'm filming through a glass, so it's not going to be crystal clear video, but uh, there you go. It is. There it is, looking straight at me. It's going to be pretty clear. The glass is pretty clear, so there we go. That's five times zoom from literally two, three inches away. I'll keep turning it so you get a full 360 of it. Now you see that beautiful, it's more orange than yellow, but it's called a yellow underwing, I'm pretty sure. See that? And if it starts to fly, you'll see the wings it's got underneath there are really in the beautiful colour. Let's see if I can get it to move. You're going to move. That's typical. When you want it to move, it doesn't move. <laughs> when you're not ready to film, it starts flapping around. It's just... So typical. How do I get it to move? Move. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just went a bit crazy. Yeah. That's six times zoom. It's, that's seven times. That's probably as much as I can get when I'm this close. That's literally two inches away from it, that's seven times zoom, seven times magnification. So you get some good detail on it. And obviously I have to film through a glass or something I'm holding in it, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get this close up film, it'll be all over the place. So Let's see if I can get it to move one more time. I want you to see those yellow wings flapping about a bit. Oh, there we go, now you've got an underside shot of it. And you, I can see it's vibrating very slowly. Oh, look at that. You see it just clean its antenna then. Yellow underwing moth. And it's late August when I'm seeing this, so oh look at that, that's nice. Okay, so you enjoyed that. should be enough to give you an idea of what, what one is if you ever see one. Had these in uh, Cambridge all my life. I've seen these ever since I was a child so um, I can't say that they're a rare moth but you don't actually see them that often. You know you're lucky if you see these once or twice a year and I guess it's around this time seeing as I'm seeing it now I guess it is kind of August, September kind of time that you'd see one. Anyway, very nice moth. Thanks for watching.